so it's come to the day where I'm trying to prep the roof of the uh, avion to put the um, solar panels on it. <clears throat> so I've got a wire brush and I've scraped back all the old paint that's on top of here. And I got a sponge and some water and some detergent and I waved it down. And then um, it still has some, some marks on it. So I wasn't willing to put the paint directly onto the, the marks. So I'm actually using, uh, giving this a go, which seems to be working. So I'll finish doing the rest of the roof with that and then hopefully we can get some paint done. Just finished uh, painting the roof with this fibered aluminium Rust-Oleum stuff. <clears throat> I think the battery went dead or something like that in this one. I was trying to record it, but this is what it looks like. It's kind of cool stuff. It really, um, really fills all the cracks and everything and uh, the roller wouldn't work for some reason I don't know why the roller wouldn't work it just wasn't really picking up the paint so I just ended up painting with a paintbrush the whole thing but uh, it's cool it's like hopefully gonna waterproof a little bit because um, we've had a little bit of like mildewy kind of stuff on the roof on the inside uh, while we've been away so hopefully this solves that issue and then on top of this goes the solar panels. So cool. I think I left off yesterday with the roof of the Avion um, being painted. And after that, it kind of started getting dark. So I came in here and attempted to finish off the tiling. So I finished it off and it goes to that there. And then I've just run some grout through it and Sophia's doing her little like grout cleaning job here. Um, where you wipe it off in between. So yeah, and then what I also did underneath the front window, and there's a bit of a bubble on it, but I'm not going to point that out. It was just my, me matching the patterns and I got it wrong. I think it's looking really nice. Like I think it really nicely kind of joins in that corner there. And once the bench is in, it's gonna look really nice and seamless. Kind of got to an exciting point. Uh, yesterday you guys saw me paint the roof and then did some tiling this morning and stuff like that, but it's, uh, I just connected the batteries to the, to the uh, inverter for the first time. And they're only showing 26 volts when they should be showing 48. And I don't know why they're only showing 26 volts. Maybe leaving them for seven months has allowed them to discharge a little bit, which I didn't think uh, LiPo's were supposed to do. So what I'm going to do is just try and connect these two solar panels to the inverter right now. I have six in total that are going to go up on top, which should give us more than enough power for everything. But I just want to test this. So I've never, ever, ever installed solar panels before. So this is the way, this is a learning thing for me. So. I'm just cutting all these cables that were supplied. They've just been laying around for the last year. And uh, I'm gonna try and put this together. So here we go. I think there's a bit of sun here coming through. Oh yeah. A bit of modeled light, right? Yeah, totally. Do you mean to put it down to help you take this or? Just take the box for me. The box. And then lean the box on the side. I'll try and get these. Na, na, na. Like, not all of it, but yeah. yeah. That's sunny ish. It's kind of cool for me, to be honest. 
Like I'm in. Yeah. I know you love it. So this is a minus. I need to know which one's which. And then it goes. Then it goes. So it goes black to, black to, to red. red. Black to red. Okay, which is fine. It's fine. Connect this up. Yes. So I'd say we're either 14 or 15. I've got to set the 16. So here, right? It's the red. So you go down like that. So you. Go. Whoa. You go there. I think like I got so. that on tape. So I just broke that. Have some beeping a little bit at some point. That I need to go and reset it. But I need to change the lithium type. Okay, so this should be a 48, 48 volt array. Okay. So this has been a mission today, like trying to work out why I, what I did wrong, and I should have been trying to set it to a 48 volt array because that's what it says right here, 48 volts. And instead, I set it to 24 volt. So, if all goes good here, we don't have an error code or a fault. So we don't have any red lights come on yet. No red lights. Damn, 51, 52, 52.5, 52.6, no error codes. Man, that's a win. All right, we're halfway there. And so what actually actually happened here, right, is if I if I put this on, and this is the AC one, right? So if I just flick it on, did that turn off? Whoops, what happened? Did you like explode it? Maybe. Maybe that's connected wrong. Yep, maybe it is. Something's wrong down there. I've done it wrong, wired it up wrong somehow, which is fine, I can change that. At least I know now, right? So this is working. Right. So then, in theory, if there was sun, sorry. It's so annoying, I don't have any sun to test the solar. Mm. It's uh, Christmas Eve, so Merry Christmas, everybody. And uh, so I was helping her mum cook for the Latin Christmas, which is on Christmas Eve instead of Christmas Day, which is a bit weird for me, but all good. Um, and uh, I'm over here at the house. Uh, try and store the solar panels on top of the, uh, the uh, Avion. So I, uh, I have them laid out here in the way that they're gonna go on top of the roof. And I got one installed yesterday. Which is here and it's nice and it's a really nice, neat install. It's definitely um, really strong. And I've hidden, on this one, I've hidden the brackets underneath because I could get to it. And I used rivets and a little bit of silicon. And it seems to have done made a really good job. Um, but the way that the rest of them are gonna have to go, I need a little bit more room, so I'm gonna have the uh, brackets facing outwards instead of inwards, which would hide them nicely, but my hands just aren't small enough to get under there. Um, and it's even actually hard to, to screw these guys on, um, just even while this thing's laying on the ground. So let me show you how this is going. So what I found yesterday was the only way to really um, get it on and off up while well, well, it's up on the top is to have the the bolt facing upwards. So this is upside down right now. So upwards would be that way. And then you have to hang down. You have to tuck these guys on like that. You have to get this nut started upside down. So like this 
and that's the process. So um, I'm going to do because these guys are going to be running uh, parallel with the airstream. The airbound, sorry. I'm going to do these guys um, with the brackets on the outside here, and then with the ones that run uh, perpendicular. I think that's perpendicular. I'm going to put them on this side so that, that way when you're driving the air is going to try and lift the panels <clears throat> front to back so I want to make sure that the brackets are always on the side where the air is trying to lift the panel and that should be it I, uh, I'm going to lay them all on the ground and then I'm going to install these on, on, all on here and then I'll put them up where I want them to go uh, put some silicon on, drill the holes and uh, get these things installed. I forgot to mention that it's like 12 degrees Celsius today in Miami, which is very weird. So once I get these guys tightened by hand, it's just a matter of working this guy on here. This guy on here. It shouldn't really matter which one I rotate. And uh, you don't need to see me doing the rest of them, it's all the same. So, let me get this done. <sighs> so, it's been a tough day and it's been raining off and on and I just really wanted to rush through this one because uh, i got to have Christmas dinner with the fam, but check it out. I'm standing here and I'm wondering, because essentially I've only got six, um, I don't really do things by halves. I'm wondering if it's worth just ordering another two and putting one here and one on the other side of the AC and then one like one way across the back and then that way the whole roof is full and uh, we don't have to worry about anything else. Um, but yeah, pretty pumped. That's a, that's a productive day. Nice, and I worked out all the wiring, which was annoying. It's more complicated when you don't have them just sitting next to each other. I never ended up filming the, the final kind of install of the solar panels because we ended up doing the, the last bit of it in a bit of a rush because I used it in a photo shoot. But I definitely uh, finished it all off and it's actually working right now. It works really, really well. We've been living in the Avion now for about three weeks and no complaints. In a future video, I'll show you what I ended up doing with all the power as well. That inverter that we had wasn't enough for our needs. So that's all changed. We also have more batteries than what we started with in this video and a few other things. Uh, that's all coming though, it's a, a future video. But for right now, this is kind of where we're at. As you can probably hear, the AC is running. So that all, all works really, really well. I did end up buying the extra two solar panels. So I have eight total. So I have a total of 800 watts. A lot of YouTubing and a lot of uh, other stuff later and I managed to get them installing working. When I change the power, these are actually set up in two different arrays. So it's two sets of 400 watt um, arrays versus the one 800 watt array because the voltage was actually too high for what our inverter can handle. Got to do a big shout out to Will Prouse. He's got his uh, YouTube channel and it's all about solar and controllers and all sorts of stuff like that. So if you guys are trying to do this, definitely check him out. Way more information than I could ever give anybody. But it definitely, uh, I learned a lot and the system works really, really well. I could definitely do it with more batteries. Uh, but again, I'll, I'll mention that in a, and kind of go across all the battery stuff in a future video. Thanks for watching so much, guys. I, um, again, I'm gonna be annoying and ask if you guys can please subscribe if you're digging these videos at all and I will see you next week.